Hey Valley Middle, welcome back to another math lesson in the G67 series. Tonight we're going to be working with the percent of change, but let's start off with something just for fun. Who is this? I think you will know who this person is. You should know right now. All right, officially tonight our target is I can find the percent of increase or decrease in a number or value. Let's do this thing. Let's take a look at this, pri this problem about stamps. I think it'll illustrate how we go about doing this. The price of stamps has increased over time. How much did the price of stamps increase from 1968 to 1974? Well, if you look at the chart over here, you find that in 1968, stamps were 6 cents. In 1974, they were 10 cents. If you subtract 10 minus 6, you'll find that the amount of change has been 4 cents in this period of time. You take that four cents and you put that over the top, the amount of change, over the original amount. The original amount was six cents. So you have this fraction, amount of change over the original amount, four, six. Then, just like a fraction, you divide. What you end up with on your calculator is 0.66 repeating. You take and multiply that number by 100 to make it into a percent, sorry, and you get 66.6 percent .6 if you're rounding to the nearest tenth of a percent. We use these same steps each time we work to find the percent of change. We're going to subtract to find the amount of change, we're going to divide, and then we're going to multiply by 100. And then typically we have to do some rounding too. Let's take a look at some vocabulary words that we have to talk about tonight. Percent of change, that's the first one. This is the percent of change is an amount, the, it is the amount it is the percent and amount changes from its original amount. Sorry about that. The percent of cre increase is when the new amount is going to be greater than the original amount. And the percent of decrease, this happens when the new amount is less than the original amount. And, and those things kind of make sense, but I just want to try to stumble through those to get you those definitions. Let's take a look at another example here. Here's my second example. Everybody knows about Beats by Dre. And, you know, here are the solo wireless ones. They sell for about $300. Well, if that price gets slashed at Walmart or someplace, and they're now priced at $225, and you're trying to explain to your parents why this is such a good deal, could you tell them what the percent of change is? Well, let's follow those steps again. Let's just go ahead and subtract to find the amount. First of all, they were $300, and... Now we're going to subtract the $225, and we'll find that the, the rate of change is $75. So we'll take and put that $75 back over the top of the original amount. So the amount of change was $75. The original amount was $300. And we're going to divide, just like a fraction. 75 divided by 300. That's what that means. You're going to get 0.25 on your calculator. You take and multiply that by 100, and you'll find that that is a 25% decrease in the price. And it kind of makes sense. The price went down 25%. It's a good deal. I think you should go get yourself a set of drays. All right. Last problem before I cut you loose on some. I recently asked one of my snow plowing customers for a raise. He agreed to raise my plowing rate from $55 to $60 each time I plow his parking lot. What percentage did the price increase? Now round your answers to the nearest tenth of a percent if necessary. So the old price for plowing his parking lot was $55 and the new price was $60. Do you remember the first thing you have to do? That's right. Subtract to find the amount of change. So I took my 60 minus my 55 and it was 5. $5. That's the amount of change. Do you remember the next step? That is correct. Put it over the top of the original price. So $5 over the original price of $55. Next step, of course, we're just going to divide those. That's a fraction. It's telling us to do that. 5 divided by 55. You get 0 .0909. And it's a repeating decimal like that. Well, you have to multiply that by 100. You can just move the decimal. And let's round to the nearest tenth, like they said. So we take a look here. We're going to have 9%, but we take a look at this one here is the tenth of a percent. If we look next door, there is enough to bump that up to 9.1%. So I received a 9.1% increase. $5 doesn't seem like much, 
But when you think about it, a 9% or almost a 10% increase, your parents would love a 10% increase in pay. Your parents would love a 5%. So would I. All right. Time for you to try some problems. Last year, the VMSS has, oh, sorry, VMSS had 975 students. This year, we have 1,025. Find the percent of change. Round your answers to the nearest tenth of a percent if necessary. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. Okay. Let's take your problem out first. Did you subtract? If you did, you found that the amount of change is $50. Put that over the original amount, sorry, 50 kids. Put that over the original amount of 975 kids. Divide that out. You're going to find that it's 0 0.0512. And when you multiply that by 100, you're going to have 5.1%. This isn't enough to bump that up. So you just end up with a 5.1 increase in our enrollment at Valley Middle School. That's a pretty good enrollment increase. All right. Let's take a look at the uh, your next problem here. Try this one here. Find the rate of change between this stock's highest trading price in 2000 to its highest price in 2010. Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a percent if necessary. Having trouble reading them? I'll help you. 100, 120, 140, I'm going to guess this here is 160. Let's use 160. Well, okay, I'll help you read this one too. 40. All right, let's see how you did. In 2000, it was $160 a share. In 2010, it was $40 a share. It went down a lot. So we've already established this is a decrease. Next thing, we subtract and we find out that the amount of change was $120 change. So we put that 120 over the original amount, 120 over 160. We'll go ahead and divide it out. You're going to get 0.75. Multiply by 100 to get the percent. You have a 75% decrease as the stocks fell. And every single one of you would know which stock this is portrayed here. I just don't want to say it case my information is wrong. That's pretty typical. It was a tech stock. Super high, $160 per share, and it just crashed down in 2000. All right. Uh, one more for you. Here we go. Tara has a birthday party every year. For her golden birthday, we caved, and she was allowed to invite 14 friends over. The next year, she was allowed to invite only six friends. What's What's the percentage of change between the two years? Round your answers to the nearest tenth if necessary. Go ahead and pause the video and try this. All right, let's see how you did. Well, her golden birthday was 14 kids. The following year, there were six. So if I subtract that out, I'll find that there's a difference of eight. That's the amount of change. I'll take and put that amount of change over the original amount. I've got 8 over 14. Go ahead and divide that out. I end up with 0.5714. Multiply that by 100. You got, and round to the nearest tenth, like I asked up here, you have a 57.1% decrease in the amount of kids invited. See, I told you we just caved on that whole golden birthday thing. All right, and I don't remember how many kids it was, but it seemed like there was 14. Highly outnumbered. All right. Here we go. Here are your two ticket to the show problems. Not word problems. I just gave you original prices and new prices for the couple for some item. And this year, uh, last year, 84 wins. This year, 63 wins. That's my prediction on the twins. All right. Let's go and see if you know the answer to the trivia question. Who is this? No, it's not a baseball player. I was trying to trick you. Andre Romel Young, born. February 18th, 1965, better known by his stage name, Dr. Dre. An American rapper, record producer, and entrepreneur. He's the founder and current CEO of Aftermath Entertainment and Beats Electronics. Yo, check it out. They were right there giving it away.
Actually, I thought that was a pretty good picture. I thought you might uh, guess a baseball player since I'm so, since I'm so into baseball. All right, thanks so much for listening. Have a good evening. Bye.